Six Street Crypto, a podcast with one guest. So, you missed the rally, or you don't believe it, or both. Big question is, what do you do? What do you do? Well, here on the streets of Austin, Texas, I can think of two things. One, you can listen to this episode. Two, you can join my Patreon because they made money. They made money. Now, if you didn't make money and you're upset, again, what do you do? Well, the first thing is you start getting into your head that large cap cryptos can start trading like meme coins. We saw a little bit today with Cardano on December 8th, right? It's like, oh, look, this hasn't gone up yet. Let's take it up 20%. Okay, because again, the whole AI narrative in crypto, the whole gaming aspect of crypto, it hasn't even been traded yet. People are just waking up to a completely mispriced market. So, so, start off by believing it, by saying, okay, this short-term rally is for real and the long-term rally in Bitcoin is happening. 44K is not expensive. Markets can get overstretched, emotional, whatever. Okay, the case to disbelieve this is garbage it's garbage it's a psyop right in other words oh let's get everybody to not believe now let's talk about believing and what it takes for people to believe but before i do that it's a reminder about patreon okay patreon.com slash unhinged crypto link is in the description above or below depending on where you are now what happens when people start aping in. Well, the crypto people will ape in first, right? Because the bunk price action, it's infectious. It's like the common cold, right? One guy gets it, everyone gets it. Bunk starts to trade a certain way, everything trades that way. It was the way with Solana on the way down, and it's that way with Solana and bunk on the way up, right? In other words, the price action, the parabolic zaniness, is catching so don't be afraid now a couple of examples about sentiment i say will bitcoin blow up kind of like modern slang style 600 views when will bitcoin dip immediately a thousand views boom everyone wants to know about the dip that they're not going to get until bitcoin is either at 60 or 80k yes i just said that not tomorrow but you know, that's when you're going to get your real 30 to 40% correction. So again, what do you do? Well, the first thing you do is you look at the market and you say, it's not expensive. And even if it's overbought, it's not. Take the chart or certain chart indicators and throw them out the window. Buy breakouts. Okay. Even if it was like up 60%, uh, how are you going to feel if it's up 60 more? Now, more on sentiment. So, a sibling of mine, not a sibling, my child calls me from a European country saying she's having dinner and somebody wants to know about Bitcoin and she wants my, to know what my YouTube channel is. So, let's begin with the obvious. My child doesn't watch the market update. And what would have to happen in this market for Gen Z or my kid to figure out what Bitcoin is open a Coinbase account, transfer money in, hit the green button and buy Bitcoin. Like, what's it gonna take? What did it take in 2020 for everybody to figure out MetaMask? What did it take? I, insanity. That lasted months and months and months and months. Now, it, it crashed, but what's it gonna take? I mean, we ain't there yet. You still got disbelief in crypto. You still got, oh, watch out, it's gonna go down. Yeah, it's going to go down, right, after it just gets completely stupid. Now, again, back to my Patreon or YouTube or whatever. You know, I didn't get nominated this year for best, or for best micro cap channel. Now, my kid doesn't watch the show. Boo-hoo. But you know what? As an analyst, it's good. When you try to make a living, it's not. <laughs> if no one is listening to you, you're right. So what's going to happen? Again, this goes back to what should you do? 
you either got to do one of two things. You got to figure out what hasn't gone up or you have to join in on what has. Like for example, everybody thinks Solana has resistance at 75. If everybody thinks that, it's going to overshoot to 90 and then overshoot to 110. You're going to have two overshoots before it's over. Two. Okay, that's how this is going to go. Then, once you have two overshoots, what I call the predators and the sharks are going to show up. And that's going to be the range traders, right? They'll fade the emotional spike to 110, you know, even though it's the fourth time they've gotten stopped out trying to get short. They'll still do it. And they'll be right. Right, because things will trade in wild, wild ranges as retail likely piles in at the wrong levels, at the wrong time. Now, there really is no wrong level or wrong time, but you got to like get your head straight for the trend before the range kicks in. Because once the range kicks in, the market gets, quote, hard, right? It gets choppy, unpredictable, people FOMO in, everyone stops out at the low. That's what people are afraid of now. So when everyone's talking about range and dips, it trends and trends and trends. When everyone says it's going up forever, it, it ranges and it gets hard. So this is also a reminder that bull markets can be extremely difficult. The bus has left and people are not on it, okay? The next things to trade like bonk, I don't know, you name it. Render, Phantom, Avalanche, right? Remember this whole thing early on in this rally talking about speed? You know, XRP is not dead. A lot of people like, I'm divorcing XRP for Solana. You know, what, this, what's peop, what have people given up on? I mean, it, it's like, you can't even make a list. So people are like, oh, I missed it. You missed what? Right, I did a video, Avalanche at 140. Okay, so it was a teeny weeny bit of YouTube hyperbole. Nobody watched the video. So, Avalanche is at 30. So are we saying that after 2020 and 2021 that a big fast crypto that's going to facilitate security tokens can't do a 5x from where it is right now when everything back in 2020 did a 10x? Is that what we're saying? Because everyone's like, oh my God, it's the bull market. People, before you have a bull market, you have to unwind the excesses of the bear market, which is not, repeat, repeat, not happened yet. It hasn't happened yet. So I was like, oh, I missed it. You missed what? You, you missed, I don't know, half of a repricing. Maybe. So if you want, of course, more on low caps, mid caps, big caps, you have to be in my Patreon. Okay, it'd be a good idea. We crossed the 100 customer mark. Now let's talk about micro caps. Uh, I'm not telling you any of the micro caps uh, I'm looking at. But there are going to be micro caps that are going to move. Seriously, like this is the time for, that people are going to like wake up and start looking for five to eight million dollar projects because everybody missed, you know, Tia, you know, Tau, all these things when they were micro caps. So they're going to go searching for new ones. Right. And that includes the hedge funds and the venture capitalists. Everyone's chasing like what's the next bonk, like they're going over to Husky and Avalanche and stuff like that. I don't know. I think the stuff that's going to be in that five to eight million dollar market cap is going to start attracting a lot of capital. People have got profits, right? And they may want to just go for it. Now, when they do that, it reminds me of like Axie Infinity. Now, they had big venture capital backing and they had all kinds of hype and a good game. I mean, you had a game go to a billion dollars, a billion dollars, right? I, and I mean, that was before AI. Like, where, where is AI in the crypto narrative? I mean, we're doing bonk, which is fine, whatever. But where's the AI narrative? People are like, I missed it. <laughs> yeah, it's not even there yet. Seriously, it's not there. It doesn't exist. And when you're doing your homework or you're trying to figure out what to do, I mean, you look at AGIX, that's like a, a bigger AI altcoin. But they got to be out there. And I was on Morales Money, and there's a lot of like little small coins that like are trying to use like I don't know that maybe there's AI for on-chain data or whatever. It's 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 freaking out there, and everyone's like, oh, you know, take profits and go home. Okay, well, of course you want to pay yourself. Of course you want to buy a Christmas present, and of of course 
you don't want to be drinking champagne with a lampshade on your head because you know that's the end of the move. But people are like, oh, I missed it. And what you're missing is the power of the move, how much work needs to be done, and how you can still get involved. Because Solana at 75 is a joke. They're going to replicate ETH without the fees, and they're going to add a mobile phone to kick Apple's ass. I mean, who doesn't want to kick Apple's ass? I mean, yeah, their, their stuff's great, don't get, yeah, obviously. But, I mean, you want to see them get their ass kicked, right? I mean, Elon is fighting these guys tooth and nail. The facts come out every day about all this bad stuff that happens in society. You know, the government, big cap tech companies, they can just do whatever they want and nobody pays attention. Well, you know what people will pay attention to? Is AI narratives, Web3 narratives inside crypto. Mooning like a, okay, seriously. They'll be like, hey, what's this about? I can make money in this. Why is this mooning? Well, oh wow, because we're sick of big cap tech companies. Oh gee, didn't these big cap, cap, big cap tech companies do all this like really bad stuff? Might be like a reverse memory jarring experience. You gotta see it in crypto. So, future of money, future of tech, security tokens, AI, everything that they freaking mooned in stocks. Like, how could stocks be ahead of crypto? That's insane. People are like, I missed it. You missed what? Nothing. I mean, this rally in stocks, I mean, they did it during a tightening cycle. It was like they just kept doing it, doing it. I mean, they sold the entire rest of the market to buy, you know, AI and Web2. The, the stock market got crushed. All the money went into AI and Web2. What happens if half of that money goes into crypto? Solana's going to be at 200. Bitcoin's going to be at, you know, I don't know. You know, take your price target and double it. Maybe that should have been the title of the podcast. If you don't know what to do, find the 2021 high and say, how far is this away? And if you have to ape in and close your eyes during the month of December, I can't give you investment advice. But if you got on this move just a little bit, even if you missed it, you get a little profit out of the initial wave, you'll be more sane and more able to deal with the range trade that will eventually happen. But getting involved means, you know, it's the research end, it's the work, and if you own the market, uh, you know, it, it's about taking the easy money while the getting's good. Meaning, you know, letting positions ride. You take some profits, but you know, you gotta be there. And actually on dips, there's nothing wrong with buying more. You know, I had a boss who did that. You know, while the thing's going up, you just buy more. He didn't want to buy dips. He wanted to buy strength. In equities, they do that. It's called buy breakouts. So that's Sixth Street Crypto. That's your crypto therapy. Stay strong. Patreon.